Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Deborah Chow giving details about Darth Vader in the Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus series. That's right now on Star Wars Coffee. The Obi-Wan Kenobi series is fast approaching. We're almost at the end of March already, and that means we only have about two months roughly to go until we finally see the long-awaited Kenobi series. We've gotten one trailer thus far, and we know that the marketing campaign is about to kick off even more with new TV spots, teasers, maybe even more trailers, etc. So if you want to stay up to date on all of those things with all of the new footage and all of that, be sure to subscribe here to Star Wars Coffee for all of the latest because they are all always uploaded. But what we're going to be taking a look at today is Deborah Chow giving details about Darth Vader in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Entertainment Weekly gets a lot of exclusive Star Wars content and today is no exception. We're going to be taking a look at a piece about Obi-Wan Kenobi and Deborah Chow explaining Vader's return. Entertainment Weekly was able to sit down with Deborah Chow and ask her some questions about working with Hayden as Vader. Entertainment Weekly says, So, why did you decide to bring Darth Vader back for the series? To which she responded, Honestly, for me, the starting place was that I really wanted to do something that was character-based and character-driven, because that is the benefit of the limited series, is that you have more time to sort of tell a real character story. And so for me, the starting place of the characters just start, and you look at who has been important to him in his life. And it's quite hard to avoid Anakin slash Vader in that scenario, especially coming out of Revenge of the Sith. So really, it came out of an evolution for the character for me. It wasn't just to sort of bring him back, it was really like, who means something and where are we at this point in the timeline with Vader? Next question was, how was it working with Hayden Christensen? He's lovely, she responded, and he's absolutely wonderful, and Canadian. So for the first time I met him actually was in Toronto, and it was really nice because we sort of met up in Canada. And obviously both with people like Ewan and Hayden, they've just been these characters for so long, and they obviously did them in the prequels. And they've lived with this character in their lives for so long that they just know the character so well. Which makes it so helpful in terms of being creative. What was it like when Darth Vader first showed up on set? Obviously Hayden was going to be part of this series. And when he first came onto set for us, it was definitely had a very special feeling. And it was really interesting moment for me because you really started to see that different generations and how they connect to Star Wars and the franchise where you have a generation that grew up with the prequels first and with Hayden. It's totally different for them than a generation that grew up with the originals. And there's a younger generation with the new ones. So it felt really special bringing him back. And obviously I'm Canadian and he's Canadian. So that was also very heartwarming for me. We were having some Canadian pride on that day. What were the feelings for you working with that iconic character? Ewan said he couldn't figure out why everyone on set was so excited one day, and then he looked over and saw Vader and was like, ah yes, of course. The first time I saw him in costume and the full thing going, he's towering over me. He's like, literally almost twice my size it felt like. It's really intense to have such an iconic character and then to be directing him and to be doing new scenes with him. So I do remember poor Ewan on that day, he's like, what am I chop liver by comparison right now? But I know that for Vader, it's something that it's almost part of our consciousness because we've all had it in our lives for so long that to actually see him on set, it's pretty magnificent. It's kind of moving. What kind of Vader will we see here on the show? We only saw him for a few quick scenes at the end of Revenge of the Sith in that armor, so where does he pick up 10 years later? For us, it's very similar to Obi-Wan in that sense that he's in between these two trilogies. So he isn't the new Hope Vader quite yet, you know what I mean. So we are with the character sort of in the middle of this period. It's still Vader obviously, but it's Vader that isn't quite fully as formed as the new Hope Vader. So that's what Deborah Chow had to say about Darth Vader in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. There's a lot here and there's a lot to be excited about, specifically about the fact that Hayden just the fact that Hayden's going to be in the show makes me even more excited in that he donned the Vader costume. And just the way that him and Ewan and Deborah, the way everybody seems to be interacting on this set and in this show just makes it seem like the chemistry and the storytelling and the creativity is going to flow that much better and really show up 
in the on-screen performances. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, may God bless you, and the Force be with you always. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.